Welcome back. Today we're going to do a little bit of work with estimating and we're going to be estimating products and product is the answer to a multiplication problem. So we're going to be working with some two and three digit numbers. Again, you're going to be going out to do some of your practice work at yakapaka.com. Also take some notes during the video, stop it, replay it, definitely have some scratch paper. I really want you to copy down some of the notes that we're doing here in the practice work. So here we go. Well, we're going to round when we estimate. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to make a little number line with the two-digit numbers from 40 to 45 and the three-digit numbers from 200 to 300. Now, we're going to use different numbers as we go through our problems, but this is going to help us to tell us where should we round. Should we round down? Should we round up? And it goes back to that old saying, five or more, raise that score. Four or less, give it a rest. So here we go. Let's talk about a couple of two-digit numbers. So let me get my pen ready. And we're going to go ahead and go in white here so you can see it all nice and clearly. And so let's try oh, 37. And we're going to multiply 37 times 7. Now the one-digit numbers we leave alone. So now let's look at this number line. Just pretend in this particular case that this is the 30, 35, 40. 37 is approximately here. So that means we're going to move it up to the, to the 40. So we simply go to 40. And we leave the 7, the one-digit numbers alone. So we're going to do 7 times 40. 7 times 0. 7 times 4 is 28. And there is our estimate. Let's try two-digit numbers. Oh, we can go with a 73, and we'll multiply that by a 58. Again, let's go back up to our number line and just pretend we're using the numbers that we have in our problem. 73 would be about here, so that means we're going to round it down to a 70. 58, well, it's probably going to be over here, closer to the 60. So we're going to make that a 60. Now we'll go ahead and multiply this, but we're also going to go back and try to use that uh, power of 10 that we've talked about. So we have a two-step multiplication. So if it helps you, make your steps so you keep your numbers lined up. And here we go. 0 times 0. No big deal. That's going to be simply a 0. 0 times 7. Another 0. 6 times 0. 0. 6 times 10, 7, 42. We add all this up and we get 4,200. Well, power of 10 would have been easier. Remember what I told you, we're going to count the zeros. Well, we have two zeros. We have the 0 after the 7 and the 0 after the 60, so we have two zeros. Put it right down, that's part of our answer. 6 times 7, 42. That's the beauty of the power of 10. Let's try some three-digit numbers. Well, just so we can use this number line, let's go ahead and try 271. And we'll multiply that by a two-digit number, and we'll use the same number line. We'll go with 40, uh, 41. Let's try 41. Okay, so 41, that's going to be right close to the 40, so that's what we'll use. Having a little bit of trouble using my pen here tonight. And we're going to multiply that. The 271 is over here someplace, close to the 300. We're going to multiply that by 300. Again, I'm not going to do the, th the multiplications. It's a two-step multiplication. I'm going to do that power of 10. Look at the zeros. We have one, two, three zeros. So let's just put them down here. And now four times three, 12. Our estimate is 12,000. So let's go to another page, and we'll do a few more problems. Again, stop the video here. Write these down. Make sure you have them in front of you when you start to do the problems. Oh, again, let's try another, let's try a three-digit with a two-digit number. So we'll go ahead and we'll multiply oh, seven, 
89 and we'll multiply that by 96. Well, let's go with the three-digit number, 789, which is bigger than the 50, so it's going to be going up to the next 100, which would be 800. And let's look at the 96. Well, that would be over here after 95, so we're going to be closer to 100. Let's use that power of 10, just so we're good at that. That way we're doing both estimates and power of 10. Let's count the zeros. One, two, three, four. Put that in our answer, four zeros. Now let's multiply one times eight, eight. And let's start from the back and move over three spaces and put our commas in, and we see we get 80,000. Let's move down here and let's do another problem. And again, make sure you're taking the notes. You have them there so you can see them. Oh, let's take the number 567. And we'll multiply that by 339. Well, look at the 567. It's more than the 50, so it'd be over here. So we're going to move it up to the next 100. We're going to move that up to 600. Let's look at the 339. Well, that's less than 50. So we're going to go back down to the 300 number. Again, let's count the zeros. We got four of them. And three times six is 18. Let's start at the back. One, two, three, put our comma. We get 180,000. That's as simple as, it, as you need to do it. Again, make sure you have this written down so you can look at it because you won't be able to play it back once you're into the uh, quiz with the Akapaka. If uh, set your goal for 80, if you have any questions, you can try to email me. You can see that there in the middle of the page. So good luck, and I'll see you on the next lesson.